Hello again there Star Wars Collectors, this time around I have um, just a little update type thing. Um, someone request, requested a video on um, tutorial on my Commander Gree, but I will not do a tutorial on that. I'm just going to show you um, <clears throat> sorry, um, all about my custom Lego Star Wars figures. But first of all, before I do that, I'm going to show you what I got. On Sunday, last Sunday, it is this. Yes, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I already played a um, couple levels with it. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's season 1 and season 2. And so, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty fun, so I recommend it. I got it at GameStop for $19.99, so if you could find it at a price that cheap, I recommend picking it up. It's a really, really fun game. It's To me, it's better than the other two. Um, no, not the other two. The, I'll just say the other LEGO Star Wars games that came out before. So, now on to this. These are all of my custom clones um, or LEGO figures. And I'm going to start out with the 501st, which is right up here in the front. Here's Captain Rex, the generic Captain Rex that you find in the ATTE um, LEGO Star Wars pack with the 5 o'clock shadow, if you could see that. All I did to this figure is gave him some of my custom pistols, if you could see that right there, and um, the pauldron, if you could see I painted it blue. That's pretty much all I did with this figure. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna move him to the side, and then I made a 500 first clone out of Sharpie, um, blue Sharpie. So yeah, it's just a regular generic clone with blue Sharpie. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go on to Commander Cody's um, 212th Attack Battalion. This is the Commander Cody that you find in the um, uh, Republic Attack Gunship Pack. Or now you could also find it in um, the Gene Ocean Starfighter pack. Oh, by the way, the Captain Rex you could also find in the um, Genosis, I don't know, limited edition pack with the droid turret and stuff. But the Commander Cody, um, same thing with the Rex. All I did was just added a couple touch-ups here and there. Like the visor, I painted orange. This is paint, by the way, not Sharpie. This is paint. And then same with his legs, I put, it, I put the two stripes there. Um, like the actual Commander Cody from the show, and that was also paint. So there's Commander Cody. Move him off to the side. Now these are two of my favorite customs. These are wax and boil, made with paint and sharpie. The orangish yellow on them is made out of um, paint, and the red on boil, and like the black marking on his helmet. Same with waxer, the black um like kill marks on his helmet, those were made with Sharpie. But other than that, everything else was paint. So I don't know if you could see that well from there, but it looks pretty cool. Um, these these ones are some of my favorites. They look really, really awesome. So I'm gonna put them right back there. Now I'm gonna move on to, um, I'm gonna do Commander Gree towards the end. I'm gonna go on to the Coruscant Security Force, starting with Commander Fox. This was made out of all Sharpie. And then a little paint added. The red on the um, comma was paint. And the visor was paint. But other than that, everything else was Sharpie. And um, so here. But I forgot to show you Karen Cody's head. I also gave him the scar. If you could see that right there. Um, now back to Commander Fox. Sorry that, about that. But um, here's Commander Fox. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Some of the sharpies coming off on his arm, but that's okay. It kind of looks like weathering, so he looks really, really cool. I kind of looked at um, the exclusive action figure um, that I have of Commander Fox. I looked at him through the package, kind of to make this guy. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna um, <clears throat> uh, do uh, Lieutenant Thire. And the macros were just a cut up visor, pretty much, and it could fold up and down like that. Yes, the paint is chipping off, that is paint, and the rest is pretty much Sharpie. Um, so yeah, that's 
pretty much it, nothing else. Just Lieutenant Fire. Now Jack and Reese. This is this one's Jack because he has the strap. And um I know the legs are inaccurate. They have the red around them. Um because these ones were actually my first ever customs. Um and they were made mainly out of paint. Um and then some parts were Sharpie. So yeah, and here they are. That's them. So, yeah. And then now onto the right control clone trooper. This one isn't that good. Made completely out of Sharpie. Um, made in like a couple minutes one day. And so, yeah. Um, it's not that neat. But it still looks kind of cool to me. So, just add it in this video. And nothing else special. Just add the visor and then the stun baton. So, now on to Commander Phil. This one came out really, really well, in my opinion. Um, I gave him the two floodlights on the side. Um, really cool. And if you could see, there's also yellow right there um, on the top. And the stripes going down, the belt, everything. Um, it, I also did the design on his um, armor on the front, his chest armor. Um, but the pauldron is covering it right now, so... Yeah, nothing else special that one. Now on to Commander Bly. This one was is my newest custom out of this bunch. Um, he is really, really awesome. He has a white painted um, macro binoculars, the same way I used with Lieutenant Thire. Um, yellow Sharpie. Uh, brown paint right there in his pauldron. And I cut the pauldron so you could kind of see the yellow line going up on his armor. And then the whole comma is painted all brown. So you can see that right there. Like like it is in the show. Painted all brown. With the yellow paint accents to it. And um the yellow markings on his leg. Um this is this is one of my most accurate and coolest looking clone troopers of them all. So yeah. Now on to one of his troopers in episode three, just wait. Okay. Um here's my friend actually gave me the helmet of the Revenge of the Sith clone, uh, Commander Cody, I think it was. And, um, I didn't have any blackheads. Um, but, so what I did was use Sharpie on a regular clone head. So, and you could just turn it around and it could be a clone head. So, yeah, and then I just used a Clone Wars body, put a yellow stripe, and then the black side markings. So that looks pretty cool. Pawns, one of my better customs, um, Mace Windu's clone, so that's what he looks like right there, all around view, and, um, he does have nothing on his head, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Commander Wolf, he is, um, I did do his head with the, um, if you could see that right there, he has the missing eye and the scar on him. And, but this one is not a neat custom. I really wanted to do this one, but it didn't come out that neat. And yes, this was again done with Sharpie, um, as a lot of my customs are. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now on to Commander Gree. Commander Gree, he is made completely out of paint and one Sharpie accent on his, um, strap going across him. All paint, um... Green paint, just looked at um, images of him online or in books or something. So, yeah, that's pretty self explanatory. And I did give him the double mohawk hair with that's a brown paint, too. So, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, and did give him the custom pistol like Captain Rex. If you want me to do a tutorial on any of the weapons that I show here, um, just uh, request it, put, like, um, in the comments or something about it. Now, um, this is my camouflage clone trooper. I put him under the Legion of Commander Gree, the 41st Elite, and he was pretty cool. This one was made out of a mix of Sharpie and paint. Um, gave him, like, like, 5 o'clock shadow almost. And, so, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much him. And then a 41st Elite Clone Trooper, same thing that I did with the um, 501st Clone Trooper, just used some Sharpie 
on a regular clone body. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go on to um, unfinished customs um, slash like random customs and such like that. Just wait, let me get this stormtrooper to stand. So yeah, I'm gonna start out with my Galactic Marine. Um, this one, uh, he, he's actually one of my better customs also. I gave him the, um, Hondo Naka's shoulder pads, the extra one that came in the pirate tank pack. So, gave him those because that's what his pauldron looks like in the movie. And there, it, there he is. Gave, um, and this is red paint, by the way, on his comma. So, yeah, and then the rest is just red sharpie. And gave him a custom blaster. That's pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to do a tutorial on that. So, and then, um, next is Clone Commando Boss. This one, um, just shaved off the fin with a file. He's not done, as you can see, the chest armor. That is actually, um, Sharpie. I drew all those accents on it with Sharpie. So, yeah, and then, this is all orange paint, and this is blue Sharpie right there. Um, so he looks pretty cool so far. I will be finishing him. I don't know when, but whenever I find some orange paint again, because I kind of lost it. Now I'm going to go on to Commander Jet. I did shave off the fin on him too, like Clone Commando Boss. And then how I made the earmuffs is at the top of a pencil eraser. Um, just take like an eraser of the pencil, cut off a thin piece of it, and then cut it to the shape of Commander Jet's um, earmuffs. And then I just glued it on. And that's how I made that. It looks pretty cool. Um, pauldron, paint, comma, paint. All of this was paint. So it took... Um, a long time to do all this, um, but yeah, he he's he turned out okay. Now on to my stormtrooper commander. Just took a stormtrooper um, and a blue sharpie and just painted him look like a stormtrooper commander. He's not that neat either. So, yep. And then now Captain Keely, unfinished Captain Keely. Forgot to give him a comma. Well, I ran out of them. I do have another one in um, this pack. But, yeah. Uh, the paint is coming off on the pauldron. So, and the helmet. Um, I did an okay job on it. It's not that accurate. Well, um, it looks kind of sloppy. But, yeah. And, so this one, I'm, I may finish it. I'm not sure. So, yeah. And then, now on to my custom battle joints. Sorry guys, this is taking so long, but, um, commander, battle droid commander, um, just paint the head with yellow sharpie. And then a battle droid commando, um, sword, just put that piece right there to hold the sword. Um, yellow paint right there, and black sharpie over a battle droid head, and just gave him a black assassin droid body. So that's pretty much it. And then now... The best part, so if you guys watch through this whole video, um, these are my custom two custom weapons that I made. A PLX rocket launcher for clone troopers. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on this one, um, I'll be glad to if you request it. Maybe I'll do both of them in one tutorial or something in one video. And then this one, um, a Z6 rotary cannon. Um, so yeah. And I did make a better one of these, a better looking one, but I lost it. Um, so, I just made another one. And I think this one looks pretty cool also. So, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching this very long video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And I hope this explained. Um, I hope this kind of helped you with the Commander Grey figure. Um, the guy who requested this. Um, video and so yeah and one last thing on my uh, custom season 4 clone trooper action figure by the way what I did is I painted in I don't know if you could see that uh, the control pad on his arm I switched the arms I um, heated them up pulled them out of the sockets and then just swapped them um, pretty much and I glued or not glued um, I use sharpie to make the control pad on his arm like they do in the show 
So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. May the force be with you.